Hi, Cancer. It's Leslie again with your December forecast horoscope. And wow, you have a lot of things going for you both ways. First, I want to thank you all for viewing my horoscopes and for subscribing to me. That's my dog. Please be, don't be upset. Turn it off in that suit. Turn it off. Hi, Cancer. Back again. Sorry, my dog was an interruption. Um, she's a psychic dog, too. Her name is Lexi. She's wonderful, too. Um, I do want to tell you, this month is a month when you have to make a decision, a choice, whether to go negative and positive. If you go positive, wonderful opportunities will open for you. Um, I can't tell you how wonderful it could be for you. If you go negative, nothing will work for you. Nothing. On a relationship, I believe you're sad about a relationship that is not the way you want or that's ended here. Um, but don't fret. Don't be negative. Think of the positive. Picture the person you want in your life, the kind of relationship you want. Look at here. First you get a wonderful relationship, something you have so much in common with, so much in common and so um, uplifting. Then you get a happy family. You're going to a family celebration. Um, you're going to take your children or someone else's children with you. And it's very wonderful. If you're looking to meet someone, this celebration someone could be there. It could be a wedding. It could be Thanksgiving. It could be a birthday or retirement. Or maybe a happy divorce. I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Here's a man in your life that can be in your life that maybe just came into your life. Or... It also could be a woman in your life that's very strong, very strong, and maybe too strong for you. You will end up, this woman, woman is strong, but you're strong too, and you're very, very intelligent. And this tells me, this is in, the, in your most positive influence, that nobody is going to get the best of you. Uh, whatever they say, sometimes your calm will be, your calm will be your power. Always remember your calm is your power if someone's giving you a bad time. I see you really working through this with someone, working through things, all of a sudden this month is like, be positive. If you have people around you that are negative, that bring you down, you do the very best you can do in every situation, then what their problem is with you is their problem. You, haven't, you don't have to even think about it. You don't have to think of a shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda done something, because you've already done it. And again, back to romance. Wow, you have one, two, three heavy romance cards here. I mean, heavy. Heavy, heavy, like, like it, like a, mm, what do I want to say? Like a real, real heavy romance, real heavy romance. Here's the lovers, and the lovers also, of course, we know what that means. It means that you're lovers, but it also means that you look at things before you just um, want to make love and not have sex. You want to make love, and I say that, I mean, you want somebody romantic, you want to hold hands, you want to give each other little gifts, call each other, um, hold each other. Um, when you're cooking in the kitchen, someone comes up behind you and gives you a little kiss on the neck. Those are all the things of making love too, not just the sexual act. Have a wonderful month, Gemini. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next month for you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. I forgot to say about the new moon for you. The new moon can shake things up, as I said, you can, you can decide, and it's your choice whether to let people go out of your life. You don't even have to say anything to tell them. You just have to avoid them. Um, but if you'd like a more in-depth reading, and this is a good month for you to have an in-depth reading, it is $37 for new people from YouTube, and please go to 800, call 800-541-6999 to make an appointment, and go to the website, which is psychicleslie.com. Bye-bye again.